when we found our forever home, it had the tiniest little kitchen, and although we had a lot of fun, we knew it would have to change. I think it was Dean who came up with the idea of using the old living room as a new kitchen. And since we had a new addition that served as our main living room, there was no point in having two living rooms. We started taking a closer look, and then we decided to have Kate use some architectural software and draw up an idea of what it might look like. And then we dove in. It was the end of January, the dead of winter, and while the entire community was out celebrating Celebration of the Lakes, we were meeting with Dan, an old friend of the family, trying to design and draw up some cabinet ideas. Dan and Lou got back to us quick with a couple little sketches, and we said, yep, go ahead and build those. We talked about different countertop ideas, and I said, let's just do natural stone. If this is my forever home, then I want it nice. If I can't have it nice, I'm not going to do it at all. Jill agreed. This was the first piece I eyed up when we walked in the door. We looked at every slab in the warehouse that day, and at the end, we came back to this one, our new countertop. It was pretty easy up until this point, but now, it was time to work. You put a little ways, not all the way, about not even halfway. I'm a hammer. Would you like one? Yep. Oh, well, that's my new one. Alright, go over here. You should have shoes. But... Oh, you can both swing at the same time. So both of you stand right here. Okay, first get close and hold your hammers. Get close to each other and look at me so I can get a picture. Alright, here it is. It's March 6th. We got... We got Mom and Charlie and me and Grandpa flew in, and we're beginning officially the beginning of our kitchen remodel job. Go now. <laughs> in three, two, Woo! one. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. A different spot. You're on a stud. Move to the right a little. There you go. Come on, let's see what you got. Swing! Bada bada bada! Hey! That's what you got. Now you're gonna buy insulation. What? What's insulation for? Nice. The girls were headed off to Sun City West to visit Grandma and Grandpa for spring break. It was their first time on a wide body, and man, I wish I could have been there to see the look on their face when they walked into the door of that 3.30. couple of independent kids, and man, am I one proud dad. Started this project last evening, taking down 1947 plaster. It's pretty nasty stuff. That's an exterior wall. These are interior. Thankfully, this was sheetrocked with the new addition, so we'll be able to match up to the sheetrock there and somewhere over here and then we got all of this to do this old living room is going to be our new kitchen and it's just a big work zone right now the new kitchen will be here and that old kitchen over there will be an entryway and we're taking out all the plaster pretty neat 
Kind of fascinating to see the old walls and the old materials. Fun stuff. In one week, we had demoed the entire project. The girls were just getting back from spring break as the electricians arrived. They wired our whole project in just a couple days. Then our plumber showed up and adjusted all of our piping for the new kitchen. Last and most excitedly was our new cabinets. We stashed as many as we could in the garage and then had to put the rest in a storage unit until the timing was right to install them. Phase one was almost complete. We began putting up sheetrock around the new electrical work and it was looking amazing. We now had the blank palette we needed to start building our new dream. And it was good. <laughs> <laughs>